Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be taking a look at everything new coming in Season 17 of Clash Royale, including new arena, new tower skin, new Mega Knight emotes, new balance changes, which include a buff to the Elite Barbarians, more information on that in a little bit here. We also have some news regarding the next client update of Clash Royale. When is that coming and what might be in there guys? All of that in today's video. But first things first, let's go ahead and dive into the Season 17 of Clash Royale guys. The theme of Season 17 is the treasures of the Old King. We have this new absolutely stunning Royal Tomb Arena as you can see on screen right now. And the new tower skin is called the Ghostly Treasure Tower skin. And it has this really, really cool glowing slash kind of translucent effect which I think by far, in my opinion, makes it the single best tower skin in the game. Definitely a must have if you are a collector of the tower skins in Clash Royale. We also have some new Mega Knight emotes coming in season 17 as well, including the past Royale emote of the Mega Knight smashing his fist together. And then we have the Mega Knight giving a thumbs up as well. And then finally, we have the Mega Knight jumping on whatever target it's jumping on. Uh, definitely three really cool emotes, in my opinion. Mega Knight finally getting some love uh, in Clash Royale in terms of the emote department. Let's go ahead now, guys, and dive into those juicy balance changes that I'm sure you're all dying to hear about. Including the very first card here, which is the juiciest of the bunch, a buff to everyone's favorite card. I'm just joking right there, guys. Calm down. The Elite Barbarians getting a very interesting change right here. So, first and foremost, their health is being increased by a whopping 14%. So they will be quite a bit tankier after the balance update. Their damage is also being increased by 5.5%, and their hit speed is being increased by 0.2 seconds as well. Now, their run speed to compensate this is being decreased from very fast to fast, so they will run a lot slower than they do currently. So what that means, basically, is they will be a lot stronger. They will have a lot more health and deal a lot more damage. However, you will have more time to respond to them because they will run substantially slower than they do currently. One of the most frustrating parts of the current Elite Barbarians is how fast they run and how you don't have any time to respond to them if your opponent uses Elite Barbarians at the bridge. So they are addressing that pain point of the Elite Barbs by making them run slower and also addressing the fact that they are very, very weak in Clash Royale by giving them more health and more damage. The next card being changed here is a slight nerf to the Electro Wizard. Some of you guys and girls might have seen this coming because the E-Wizard has started dominating the meta since the nerf to the Musketeer. But the Electro Wizard's damage is being decreased by 3.5%. Now what this means is the E-Wizard will no longer be able to one-shot a minion, which kind of makes sense because even the Musketeer can't one-shot a minion, so why should the E-Wizard be able to? But overall, a slight DPS decrease for the Electro Wizard but it should still be a viable card and have that utility of the zap on the spawn and the reset mechanic as well. The third card being changed in the balance update right here is a buff for the mini P.E.K.K.A. whose attack speed and first attack speed will be 0.1 second faster. So a very slight buff for the mini P.E.K.K.A. who hasn't really been in the meta a whole lot for several months so far this year. Uh, I think the mini packet will definitely make a resurgence into the meta. It probably won't dominate nearly as bad as it was at the beginning of the year, but definitely some love coming for the mini P.E.K.K.A. as well. Uh, the fourth card being changed here for the Sparky. The Sparky's first hit speed is going from 0.5 second or half a second to one second. So double the first hit speed. So what that means is when your Sparky is fully charged and goes up to a target, it'll take twice as long before it shoots that blast, going from 0.5 to 1 second. The fifth card being changed here is the Graveyard. Graveyard has continuously dominated the meta for many, many, many months in a row. I would dare say even years. So the Graveyard Skeletons 
will now spawn closer to the edge of the graveyard. So a very subtle change, whether it'll be an actual big nerf or small nerf for the graveyard, we'll have to kind of remain to see uh, what kind of impact it has on the meta. But that is the change for the graveyard with the skeletons spawning closer to the edge. In theory, uh, a few skeletons would probably require more time to run to the tower if they are spawning far away from it. Um, but we'll kind of see how that plays out as well. Then finally, here we have a buff for the tombstone whose health is being increased by 4%. Very subtle change, um, but the tombstone obviously hasn't been in the meta for a while now. So just a bit of a love for the tombstone. Stone. Now, if you are wondering about the Electro Giant here, one of the newest cards to Clash Royale recently, uh, we have some official information courtesy of Clash Royale on Twitter that was released uh, a couple of weeks ago on social media. Basically, here's what they have to say. In our next update, we will also be increasing the counterattack damage that the Electro Giant deals so that it scales alongside his current level. They can't actually fix this without an actual client update updating the code of the game. Now, in terms of when that client update is coming, here's what they had to say. This extra buff to Electro Giant will also be released in the new update alongside many changes and improvements to the current clan wars. This new update is currently planned to drop during season 17. Stay tuned for more information on this update closer to its release. So sometime during season 17 is what we have. Now, some further information here in regards to the client update date. Uh, somebody recently asked Drew, the community manager of Clash Royale on Twitter, and here's what he had to say. He said, it is not coming at the beginning of the new season. I can't give more info than that, but there will be a TV Royale with the update details nearer release. So the client update will not be at the beginning of season 17. But that's basically the official information that we have is that it should be hopefully sometime in season 17, but not near the beginning. Now, also, if you guys are wondering, the uh, boosted cards for season 17 will be the Royal Ghost to go with the kind of Royal Tomb theme of the arena. And the Electro Giant will also still be boosted for November as well, just because it was kind of like bugged out for its first month of its release. So hopefully if it's uh, fixed and we all still have it boosted, we will all be able to use it as it is really meant to be with the fixed counterattack mechanic. But that is information guys and girls regarding season 17 of Clash Royale, balance changes, emotes, new arena, and the new kind of client update news. Let me know what you guys and girls think about all of that in the description down below. And also if you like this new style of a news video, let me know that feedback as well guys and girls. But that is the end of the video guys. I really, really appreciate you watching with me today. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you have a fantastic day. We shall see you in the next one.